Today, I'm so excited we get to paint a panda. They have very strong contrast with the black and white, and I think that is what makes them interesting to paint. Let's get started. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint here, put some water in your palette. Today we are painting a panda and I did go online for a photograph to use as a model and here it is. All right, let's get started. Let's use our round with pointed tip brush. Now, the panda has some white and some very dark to black colors. So first, let's do some of the black parts. When you look at a panda, you see that the arms and the legs have the black, the ears and part of the face. So let's make that color by taking ultramarine blue on your palette and adding some burnt umber. That's looking pretty good. And you can always test it on your paper towel. Now, this panda is climbing a tree. So let's start about right here and that's the arm. It's hanging on to that tree. So we're going to paint that part and then there's a tree line that goes down. Just gonna leave it like that for now. Now, the other hand is about here. Add some water to my brush. And then it swings out. And then there's a paw. Comes down and around like that. And this tree branch swings down like this and about right here, you see part of the leg. And then about right here is his leg coming. The nice thing about watercolor is if, if I'm off here, I can go back and change it by just adding water. I don't kind of like how that went, so I'm just going to dab it like that for now and leave it. Now let's take some, mix some browns, our burnt umber and burnt sienna, a little bit of both, and draw the branch that this panda bear is clinging onto. Start about right here, and then it sways down about like that. That's looking pretty good. Let's switch brushes and use our liner brush and start to shape the face. I have some of my mixture here and the ear, I need to make a little more. It's not wet enough there. Again, the, to get that color, it's the ultramarine blue with burnt umber. And the ear is about right here. And then the other ear comes about like 
here. Now I want to add a little water. So maybe it's just more of a light, light gray. And I'm going to take that and just bring it to the other ear so the face is connected. Now, the face comes down and around here. And then you'll see the dark black patch about right here. And I just, it's real light right now, and that's how I want it. Because I can always go back and change it. I'm going to load my brush a little more with more paint. And then right here is the other patch. And then about here is the nose. And the nose is dark. And then you see part of the mouth. And then bring it around like that. And bring the nose a little bit more like that. And then just add some water to your brush and make some gray areas. Just kind of like that for now. Now this is where the body is. And it's going to be mostly white, but there's some gray areas that are kind of coming out. Now, right here, I didn't place the, the leg properly, and I'm just going to kind of blot this and get some of the color out. I don't want so much color there. It's kind of like that. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Let's uh, give it a good dry before we proceed. use our liner brush and fix that foot that this part of the leg is touching and clinging onto the tree so I have some of that dark mixture here and I'm gonna put it so it's on the tree Need to make some more of that dark mixture on my palette so it's ready to go. And I want to bring this out a little more like that. And then on the end of the foot, you see some claws. So let's add a little bit of that there. And then let's go back up here and add some of the claws. So let's make some claws about like that and add some more of the dark part here. Now let's stop and give it another good dry. Sticking with our liner brush, let's work on those patches of eye. Now those patches, it's a little hard to see the eye. And what I like with watercolor is you can kind of build the layers. Even though this color is one color, you can make shades of it. The shades of black are just really fun to play with. 
So let's add some more of our mixture here of ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Now I want to leave the impression of the, the eye here. Let's go back on this other part. So I'm leaving a, a light area. Just like that. You don't need much. And that's what I like with watercolor. A little paint can go a long way. So let's darken that nose and bring that nose a little more over this way. Now as I look at this, this right eye, I don't see that it's quite right. And so I'm going to change the shape a little bit more so it's a little more oblong and not round like that. And I'm going to raise that one up a little bit like that. Take some of your mixture and put a little more darkness on those ears. Just like that. Now take your brush and add some water. And I want some of that color to come down just a little bit, not that much. And again, if it's you find that it's too much, you can blot it. And I'm going, going to blot it here. I don't want it so much down. Now I did smear it here a little bit, but that is an easy fix. Just going to go like that. Now let's take some of this color and put it under the chin here. And then some of it comes down on the body part like that. You just don't need much. And again, if it's too strong, wet your brush and dilute dilute the paint thin it and if you don't like it give it a good dab and that will give it some texture and lift some of that paint off just going to put a little bit here and a little bit on the side some of the cast a little shadow on that fur or a nice friendly panda bear. That's looking pretty good. Now let's add some texture to the tree. It looks pretty flat. And let's start by just taking your brush and use straight burnt sienna and spread some of that on the tree. Just, that's a little strong. Just going to thin that and spread it. More on the tree, like that. It's looking pretty good. Now, load your brush with burnt umber. And just put some spots of that color along the tree. Again, if they're too dark, add water and thin it. And if you don't like it, you can dab it out and remove it completely. Uh, that's looking pretty good. I like that. It's so easy to overdo watercolor by trying to do too much. Just pause, breathe, take your time, enjoy the process. All right. The only thing I think we need is a little darkness on this lower leg. Not much, just a touch. Just kind of like that. That's good. All right. Let's give it a good dry and work on the background.
All right. Let's use our round with pointed tip brush. And we're this time going to use some Viridian Green. Put some Viridian Green on your palette. Rinse some of that paint out and add some yellow ochre. Want to get a little variation in that color. And adding another color can give it some richness. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so what I find is it's easy to start at the edge there along your image and then start spreading the paint out. We're not going to the edge of the paper because we're doing the vignette style. We're leaving some to your imagination and that's what I like about it. Add some up. And I just find it's easier to go along the image and then thin the paint out and spread it more. And you also will not need to load your brush as often, as often with the paint. Need more of the mixture. Now, if you find that it's too dark, you have two choices there that you can add water to your brush and lift some of that and also dab. And I like dabbing a lot because you can kind of create some little texture on it. So you might want to try both and see what results you get. And sometimes that will help create images that you want in your painting. You can always go back and change it. Let's bring it up and around here. The other side. Down along here. Now I see that this part is a little dark. So I'm going to dab it. A little dab will do you. And it's creating some interesting shapes that I like when I do that. I'm happy with that. Need to make some more of that mixture. Bring it here. This has a little more of the yellow. That's okay. I like that variation there. Bring it down. And that time I just added water to my brush. Bring it down here along the lower leg. Like that. Then take a pause and look and see what you think you need. And I think I need to put a little more of the green up here by the head. A little more green above the head. So I'm bringing that paint up here and letting the paint gel. And it's helpful to do that so you don't get those water lines. Sometimes you want them, but in this instance, I don't want the water lines. I want it to blend and mix together. Like that. Let's just bring it down and just dab where you need it. 
need a little dabbing here like that stand back I like my simple painting I you know I could have put the painting a little lower down here but that's okay overall I like it and don't be hard on yourself enjoy the process and I hope you find it fun and fascinating to do and I hope it encourages you to do more thanks for joining me today and I hope you found some joy and wonder in doing watercolor